Hi team, so today I'm going to just give you a bit of a demo on Patchmon. It's still in beta uh, stages at the moment, so um, but this is where we are up to. So let's go ahead and click on hosts, and I'm going to add to my laptop, which I have the terminal open on the right hand side of your screen. So when I press add host, we can just put in any sort of uh, host name at the moment. So I'm just going to put Ibrahim's pop, and we're going to press create host now. When we've created the host, it will go ahead and give us some sort of uh, instructions. So it's going to curl the uh, URL here, or the, or the actual um, server, and the server instance runs on a different port than the front end. And it will go ahead and uh, use the API username and password, which is unique for every single host that we go ahead and create. So let me just go ahead and copy this. And I'm going to go ahead and paste that on the terminal. So as soon as I go ahead and press enter, we can see here that it's going and installing Patchmom with the server URL uh, as highlighted with the app ID, API ID, apologies, and um, first validated the API key and gone ahead and um, started to create the relevant directories. So one of the one of the most important features of this is actually the cron job. So it runs a simple cron. So if we go to cron tab, um, uh, my hyphen button doesn't work, by the way. Um, just see. So cron tab hyphen E, press enter. We can see here that it's going ahead and running this script, which is installed. Uh, from user local bin patchmon hyphen agent of sh the update switch um are the variables so if we go ahead and quit this we're able to see inside the um a specific folder here um so patchmon and then there is a file called credentials inside the etc uh, directory this holds the url and the id as well as the key here um, so let's go ahead and quit that now as soon as i've run this installation this one line command we're going to go ahead and close off this and we're able to see then we've got this one host here um, with our host and it's been able to identify the operating system the status the updates etc which we can go ahead and view and view the credentials and delete etc so let's go ahead and uh, click on the view for the host we've got some nice view here of the architecture when it was last uh, updated so by default the uh, cron tab runs every um every 60 every every 24 hours i think by the looks of it at uh, midnight but we are able to uh, i'm going to put in a setting here where we're able to um configure what the what we want the um update interval to be whether it's half an hour whether it's 24 hours that kind of thing i think 24 hours is fine there's no point keeping it at half an hour etc but should still be configurable and we'll be able to have that in either way we then have the packages now the really cool thing about uh patchmon is the ability for us to actually see the um different category of uh sort of patches whether it's just a security update or not at the moment Patchmon is designed to monitor the patches as management of patches is sort of a little bit trickier and requires um, a lot more workflow and it then also requires for Patchmon to send out commands to the server. So until we get that super secure, um, only then will we uh, look at implementing that. Anyway, let's go to packages. This is really good because let's just say there is a vulnerability with a specific package, for example, CUPS. So then if I was to search for CUPS and I was to see um, which hosts it goes ahead and affects. You see, this is great for something that happened, for example, of, you know, SSH vulnerability or, or there was an issue with, you know, log for js and Java and this, that, the other. Then we're able to go ahead and search the packages um, or even select the type of updates we have. We have security updates only here or we have regular or we have all that kind of thing. Um, we're able to go ahead and create various users which have different permissions. This all role based. So obviously we might not want some people to be able to add hosts, but we want them to be able to see it 
or we might not want them to go ahead and view the reporting or the export data, um, that kind of thing. So, this, so we have a profile page where we're able to go ahead and change the password and, and some basic settings there. So the dashboard, once we have quite a few hosts, is, uh, gets populated. This will expand as I get time to be able to create uh, better cards and more visuals. At the moment, we just have sort of pie charts here um, and we were able to progress with that. So I hope that sort of um, gives you an indication as to where we're at with Patchmon. Thank you so much for watching.